man's personality and character is exuded through his haircut. Your image is important. Our high-end services range from a traditional haircut and shave to gray blending, beard shaping, and unwanted hair removal. Located at 425 Victoria Avenue East, book your appointment online now at modernmen.ca or call Tammy, 306-522-4111. Modern Men, a haircut for the modern man. Hello, I'm Sean McNall, owner of TG Marketing. We are a promotional product company located in Regina, Saskatchewan. Originally founded by Tom G. McNall in 1985, we are now in our 35th year of business. My brother Ryan and I, along with our great staff, have carried the torch since Tom retired in 2011. For those of you who don't know what we do, we sell items with a company's logo on it, like clothing, pens, phone chargers, Bluetooth speakers. The list of products available is endless. Our products are a great form of advertising. Whether you want to give a gift to a valued client or show your appreciation to your staff, we have a friendly team that can help find the right product for your needs. The key to our success has been our customer service and our vast knowledge of products in our industry. We ask the right questions to get you in line with the proper product for the project you are working on. Stop by 1046 Winnipeg Street and view our showroom. Get some ideas for that next promotion you're working on. Let's make your business what everyone's talking about. Here's a little secret with what I do with the Rod Peterson Show and I've made a career of it. I don't care whether you like me or you don't like me, but when you watch my show, I just want you to feel something. How about that? Whether you're happy or you're sad or you're angry or you're proud, I just want you to feel something. Because a lot of times you'll read a column or watch a show and it's me. That's never been the hallmark of what I do. I want to make you think. I want to make you feel something. And it's worked. And if you don't agree with me, I'll be fine. This is the Rod Peterson Show. It absolutely is. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the RP Show. I have a feeling we're going to have some breaking news on the program today. How you doing, Moose? I'm great. The nickname Mouse didn't stick. <laughs> Mouse did not stick, yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just uh, uh. live tweeting the program today for all of our friends on uh, Twitter to uh, come join us on the program. <clears throat> it's going to be a great day. How are you? Listen, I didn't mean... To upset anybody with a poll question today, we actually, this question came up yesterday and we couldn't, we waited till today to post it. The poll question for Capital Auto Mall Universal Collision Center today is the best breakfast spot is blank. And we've started a holy war. You knew that we would, right? Yeah, they're getting on you on Twitter for not being consistent. You had Perkins <laughs> yesterday, but he's not in the poll. I know. So <laughs> this is what we came up. We went around the room. Full disclosure, this is what happened. And I don't know what the breakfast spots are where you people live, so you're more than welcome to chime in with that. I just said you people. Twice. Thank you. Twice. Uh, thank you. So Clark chose Humpty's. He's a Humpty's guy. You chose Smitty. You, you were welded to Smitty's. You're like... Your, your ride or die. It's got to be in the places. poll. I just think it's it's the tradition of it. Okay. That's all. And then Denny's is, is actually running away with it right now. For me, it's Ricky's, and Clark completely poo-pooed that. He's like, who goes to Ricky's? That's just a local thing. And I'm like, no, I believe it's national, all-day breakfast. It's my favorite place, but it didn't even make the poll. And then there's other in there. And... Uh, 
Now he's let's... yelling at me. He's yelling at me. Oh, that's true. He said, put it in there if it's your favorite. But I'm like, nah. So anyways, vote on this for the next 24 hours, and let's settle it and write in for your favorite if it's not there, because you're seeing Cora. Let's, you're let's seeing... be honest. The favorites that have come in on Twitter are great. Um, poached in Saskatoon's an all-timer. The Breakfast Bistro in Regina. These are all local places. The Sugar Bowl in, in Edmonton is one of my favorite on-the-road destinations. But we picked the national chains that everybody has kind of available yeah. to in all the major You markets. see Gordy Randall from uh, Gridiron Countdown. On TSN, he is saying out in Vancouver, Cora, yep. my buddy Mike Davis, my buddy Mike Davis, the former general manager and coach of the Nebraska Danger Arena Football League team. He owns two restaurants down there in Nebraska called the Early Bird Cafe, and it's just it's the rage of Nebraska. So right in, and I'm sorry, to, I didn't mean to start a war, but <laughs> I know it's probably got you hungry. Anyways, it is going to be a fun day today. Coming up in hour one, Colin Priestner, who we know... He's the president of the Saskatoon Blades. He's, he's the, your the, buddy more than mine. Yeah, like, president I like him, and but... general manager of the Blades. Okay. And uh, he's now, I believe, the president and the governor of the Rush. Okay. Colin Priestner in hour one, and then in hour two, a guy that I'd like to say I've gotten to be pretty good friends with, the great Nick Kiprios from The Real Kipper at Noon. Stanley Cup champion with the New York Rangers. He'll be with us to talk about all these things in hockey that have broken down over the last 24 hours. So that's coming up. And please, Director Jordan, thanks for being patient. Can you hit the quick six show topic? Thank you. That reminds me of the guy in the uh, show Superstore. Do you watch that, Bo? Me, 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 me. I love when he does that. I can't do it as well as him, but it's so funny. Anyways, here's my leftovers. The Montreal Canadiens have backed into the Stanley Cup playoffs. And while you don't want to do that, at least you're in. The Calgary Flames would love to back into the Stanley Cup playoffs, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah. So the Habs were at least there, but Craig Button started a holy war by saying the Habs won't win a game against the Toronto Maple Leafs in round one. So we'll come to you on that. Number two, the order's best players are their best players. Will it continue for their sake? There's no reason to think that they won't. But McDavid and Dreisaitl were rolling. Last night in Montreal, rolling. And maybe that's all it'll take to beat Montreal. It's going to take more than that to beat Toronto in round two. Point three, could you even shadow Connor McDavid? Did You, you saw my leftovers because you liked it. Yeah. There's a thing, kids, they used to call it shadow. Wade Gretzky had a shadow. Lemieux had a shadow. And it actually, in some cases, worked, even though Wayne went on to win four Stanley Cups. But for a time, it worked. For, for, for a period of time. Overall, I guess if you're that good, you can't be shadowed. But I think shadowing Connor McDavid seems incredibly exhausting to me. Who could do it? You're always a step behind. Yeah, because right? he's trying, too fast. He's too fast. That's the biggest problem with being his shadow. He's too fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the big news here? Can we? Shane Gallagher writing, it says, big news if true, tagging us and three down. What's the big news Oh, oh! it's about Nelson uh, LaCambo becoming an overnight celebrity. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Uh, number four, Tanner Janot was on fire. Like, what the, what the hell? He got called up by Nashville. He's from Oxbow, Sask. Why'd you ask? Played for the Moose Shell Warriors. And I had a pro scout call me a while back and say, what can you tell me about Tanner Janot? And I said, good kid, good family, tough. Can score a little. He's lighting the – he's got the Nashville Predators into the playoffs. He's carrying them on his back into the Stanley Cup play. Tanner Janot wasn't this good with the Moose Jaw Warriors. Like, he was good. He wasn't this good. No. When you watched Tanner Janot with the Warriors, you didn't think this guy's going to be a star. No. You didn't think the guy was going to make the NHL. Now, you thought he was – he's like, here's the thing. And this is what I learned with Tim Hunter and, and Alan Miller and Moose Jaw about certain guys. Jaden Hallbuckle Watts was one. Tanner Janot's another. Workers. Yeah. Workers. Oh, yeah. And when you're a worker, you always are improving. And you never know when that's going to click, right? And where you're going to have the right environment for success. Well, who would have thought the first that, that it really clicked with the Nashville Predators in the, in the NHL? Good for Tanner because he's a good kid who works hard. I'm glad that I said he can score a little. At least I didn't say he's a plumber, but he's, a, but he's nice. <laughs> Uh, he's exceeded expectations, I think, of the Nashville Predators. Let's put it this way. Uh, moving forward, because we're having a lot of fun today. It's going by fast. Mm -hmm. um, point two, Sask Rush sale leftovers. It's interesting. Um, 
major outpouring yesterday, not only by me, but of a lot of the Rush Nation that the Urbans are moving on after selling the team. And, and I think a lot of people took it as a shot or at the Blades and the Priestners who bought them. And I'm like, I'm only speaking for myself, but it's not that. I have nothing against the Priestners or the Blades or anything like that. We're just sad to see the Urbans go more than anything. And I think we've made that very clear. And then the NLL had said there was going to be a major announcement uh, along with the Rush sale, and today there was. Did you see that? Breaking news. The Toronto Rock is moving from Toronto down the QEW, and they're going to call Hamilton home. Wow. But still be called the Toronto Rock. So that's very interesting. Think the rent's cheaper at a- Cobb's Coliseum absolutely. or whatever, whatever they're calling it now? Absolutely. I, you know what? When I first heard that, it's, it's kind of tough because you don't want to see these, these teams move that have tradition and history. I grew up watching the Toronto Rock on TSN. Me too. That's where right? I fell in love with the league. Yeah. So, and then because of the network out there, a lot of the rock games got shown, not a lot of the rest of the league as much. So I would have hated for them not to be called the Toronto rock anymore. I really mm-hmm. would have. Will Hamilton own them as their own when they're called the Toronto rock? I hope so. It's, it's, it's entertaining. It's the I LA, think, An- LA angels in Anaheim. Don't yeah. Forget. Yeah. Same idea. Same idea. So I hope they'll, I hope they'll do that. Uh, so that's the news out of the NLL. Point three. How about this one? Tim Tebow coming out of retirement. He's going to be a tight end with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Our American viewers will know that ESPN has been all over this this morning and not in a good way. And it's interesting with Tim Tebow. Can I just say this? Huge God guy. Doesn't hide it. That's where we connected. And you're going to see. You guys got that photo, right? Uh, there. That's us in New York. Not the most flattering photo of me, but I don't think Tim takes a bad photo at all. That was in Manhattan in 2010, I think. He, Darren, could not have been less interested that I worked in the Canadian Football League. (laughs) You should have seen the look of disdain on his face when I told him that. Now that you say that, the smile looks a little (laughs) forced, too. I know. In, in, uh, where the hell were we? Well, Macy's, obviously. Times Square. But... What has Tim Tebow done to anybody? You know what I mean? What has he done? Why, why do so many people crap on him, hate on him? What has he done? You know. Wrong. Yeah. Right? He's not out there getting arrested. He's not out there beating his wife. He's not doing anything. Not accused of anything. I don't get the hate to Tim Tebow. But it, beca- it comes down to a few things, I think, for me. And it was funny. I put it on Twitter. When it came to business and stuff, faith believes what it can't see. Right. And it's it was a line from a new Kenny Chesney song that I just listened to last week. But I liked it so much because it you know, when you're trying to dream and do things, you have to believe in things, whether you're a God person or not. And I think with sports fans, we want to quantify results all the time. And you look at Tebow doesn't have the arm strength, doesn't have the quite right build for a quarterback vision, doesn't Doesn't have have the vision, doesn't have the stats. His numbers aren't there. Well, he won. What he did was win football games. Forget about how you got there. He won football games, but they all want to find numbers that say he's a bad quarterback or a bad player. Well, you know, he continues to work hard. He continues to find a way, and they see value in Tim Tebow as a tight end. And now I'm seeing the, the things come on social media. What's the over-under on touchdown passes he's going to throw with Jacksonville in year one? You know, and sometimes you have to just be okay with things that you can't explain, why he's in the league and why he's successful. You're quoting Kenny Chesney. I'm quoting Hannah Montana. How about that? How about that? What what does the world come to? Faith, by the way, the definition is having a belief in something with no proof that it's there. You're welcome. Uh, Moving on. Point four, the NFL schedule releases tomorrow. Do you you think we're going to make that sports trip? That long-awaited sports trip? We haven't talked about it, but I'll tell you, I have been having those conversations. So, with that in mind... We are right in the season where we would be making an announcement on that. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's going to be a little bit delayed. Okay. But we will have an announcement on a sports trip because we have to plan for it. Whether we can go or not will be a different story, but we'll make sure that it's viewer friendly, that there's no risk to the viewers if they sign up. We'll make sure we take care of of the people that are going to come on our trip. Beautiful. Okay. So details, stay, stay tuned. Yeah. I'm just saying with the NFL schedule coming out, um, we will be traveling stateside soon. We just don't know where. And tomorrow we'll have a big dictate a lot of that, right? Yeah. Um, 
from some of our viewers here. Joe Lazito watching in New York. He says, it's funny who ESPN glorifies and who they mock. This guy seems like a great guy who never stops working and genuinely cares. ESPN would rather glorify clowns. You can like or dislike whomever you want. Jackson Seal writes and he says, I don't get that hate either towards Tebow. Tom Brady, caught for cheating, deflate gate. I get it. Tim Tebow has never done anything wrong to anybody. And he just gets ripped apart. And that was a big part. They had Mike Tannenbaum on, the former GM of the Jets this morning. And he goes, he couldn't believe when the Jets signed Tebow how polarizing this guy is. He's not telling you to go find God. He's telling you he's found God. And it's awesome. You might want to come over here. But if you don't want to, that's fine too. I guess that, you know what it is, kids? Jealousy. Jealousy. Look at the guy. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what's driving haters. Sorry to say, that's what it is 99% of the time. They're jealous of the guy. I love him, even if he doesn't like the CFL. Um, From Chris, sorry, from Jeff Cabellos, he says a Vegas Raiders trip would be a nice one. Uh, Yeah, and don't forget Canada's team, the Golden Knights. But I know Vegas isn't our first destination, let's put it that way. Um, (laughs) Jeff Cabellos in Winnipeg says, this poll question is the hardest I've ever had to deal with. See what I'm saying? What's the best breakfast spot? Speaking of Winnipeg, my good friend uh, Brian Munns, Biggie Munns, longtime Jets broadcaster, we went to Smitty's together. I think it was the last time I was in Winnipeg. He's a Smitty's guy. And it wasn't far from our hotel. Uh, From John Kirby. He says, you can't travel stateside unless you want to pay $2,000 to quarantine, Mr. Rod. (laughs) John, you do you, I'll do me. I would say... This is essential, isn't it? don't, Don't live in the now. Like, we're talking... Our sports trips are in December. So just relax. Yeah. We're... We... I can tell you this. I'm not paying $2,000 to quarantine. If, if, not a if we're in that situation, that's when the trip gets pulled, right? It's just, hey, look at Just doing our job. I'll do like every other Canadian and fly to a U.S. border city and drive across the border. <gasps> Was I supposed to say that? <laughs> From Ryan McCarthy in Saratoga, New York. He says, fun fact, Tim Tebow was once on the Montreal Alouettes negotiation list. He was, but he didn't want to be caught dead in Canada. That's, the Tim, all, that's Timbo for you. The all-star team you could make of guys on negotiation lists. From Jeff the Stamps fan, he's awake. He says it's not jealousy, otherwise they would hate Brady more. It's about imagine and politics. Tebow's values do, just don't jive with the agenda ESPN tries to push. What, God and faith? I think we're missing the mark here. From Troy in Toronto, sober athletic wear. He says, I need a trip in a big way. I'm in. Where are we going? Well, tomorrow the NFL schedule drops. And our last plan was to go to Miami. You remember Cop- uh, Cooper Campbell, a football guy in Mississippi? His oh, daughter yeah. works for the Dolphins. They were all ready to welcome us down there. And then the Rona happened. They held our tickets to the 11th hour. Like, <laughs> I know they did. Yeah. So we'll be on that. Um, from Michael Wynn, he says, best breakfast in Winnipeg is the Garwood Grill. So good, Rod. I'll have to take your word for it. And flying through the last couple of points here, point five, Terry Bradshaw calls Aaron Rodgers weak. How about that? We'll, How have, about to come, that? we'll have to come back around. Friday is going to be a big NFL day around here. Clark is just real nice, Clark. He is working on a great NFL day on Friday. And point six, the Toronto Blue Jays are at Atlanta. 5:21st pitch. Mountain time tonight. Time for the uh, Jays to get back off the snide, on the snide, however that works. And the Raptors were officially eliminated from the NBA playoffs. Does it matter? Do you care? Will you be following the NBA playoffs? We will be. But will you? The warm-up is brought to you by the Four Seasons Sports Palace. 
Order a fabulous Four Seasons pizza and your favorite beverage for takeout and delivery. One-stop shopping, call, or order online. That's directly from the Greek freak, George Anitsos. And we have another Greek coming up later on, Nick Kiprios, an hour or two. He's good. He's good. <laughs> you love that. I do. We'll be right back with Colin Priestner. You're watching the RP Show on Game Plus Television, YouTube, and Facebook Live and 24-hour sports radio for Suds Full Service Car Wash at rodpeterson.com. Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now. You gotta subscribe. Click the subscribe button for all the content you may have missed. Don't rack your brain trying to source the equipment and materials you need for your business. Rockstar can operate your entire supply chain from PO creation to expediting your shipments all from our office. Leverage the buying power of the Rockstar Buying Group to not only save money and time, but also the headache. From gloves to glue, we can provide it for you. Find out more at rockstar.com. Does this look familiar? Your fans deserve an incredible arena experience. It's time for an upgrade. Stunning graphics. Revenue opportunities are just the beginning with our in-venue display systems and scoring technology. Let us help you find the best solution for your facility. DDG, always delivering the best fan experience. Capital Ford Lincoln is your used car destination. We're overstocked and priced to move, so shop online or in-store to get the best deal on any one of our massive selection of pre-owned vehicles. Every pre-owned vehicle at Capital Ford must pass a thorough inspection, ensuring that your buying experience is quick, easy, worry-free, and just like new. So save the depreciation and buy pre-owned. Capital Ford Lincoln is your used car destination. 1201 Pasqua Street North in Regina. IKS Live. IKS Live. Western Canada's premier production services company. LED. LED sign rentals. Video. Video production. Event, event management. Look no further than IKS Live. Visit our website. IKS Live. Always the best seat in the house. IKS Live. Nestled in the scenic Quapel Valley, just 20 minutes northwest of Regina, is one of the finest golf courses in all of Saskatchewan, the Deer Valley Golf Club. The clubhouse has a full-service restaurant, and customers can enjoy a casual dining experience with spectacular views of the golf course and valley. A fully stocked golf shop, staffed by PGA of Canada professionals, is equipped to meet all of your golf apparel and equipment needs. Book your tee time, family event, or corporate tournament today at the Deer Valley Golf Club. Call 306-731-1445. We started Suds Car Wash in 2003. There's a bit of us in every part of the business. I've been working here since I was about 10 years old. Hard to believe it's been 12 years since. Working with my family has been great. My mom and dad have taught us the importance of hard work. I've been here since I was 10 years old, and my dad has taught me a lot about quality work. From all of us at Suds Car Wash, we make your car shine. Hey, Rod Squad. Now you can join the team with your very own RP Show gear. Head to rodpetersonshop.com and get yours today while supplies last. It's just like we wear on the show. Official RP Show gear at rodpetersonshop.com. Did you know you can catch all the best moments from the show on all our social media platforms? Now, back to the studio with Rod. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, I haven't checked the poll results for a moment or two, but please vote on it. And I'm sorry for igniting a war. We all did. It's My not phone just is me. steaming. Yeah. I know. It's uh, what the best breakfast spot is, dot, dot, dot. And our poll question is for Capital Guatemala Universal Collision Center, as you all know. For me, it's Ricky's, and it didn't even make the poll. He's a Smitty's guy. Anyways, that'll be open for 22 hours. And there was breaking news out of the NLL this morning. 
and that is that the Toronto Rock are leaving downtown Toronto and moving to Hamilton, but will remain the Toronto Rock playing out of the first Ontario Centre. And, of course, yesterday's news was taken up in the NLL by the Saskatchewan Rush ownership being transferred from the Urban family to the Priestner family, owners of the Saskatoon Blades. And Colin Priestner joins us on video chat here today to talk about that sale. There he is. Good to see you, Colin. Um, man, a wild 24 hours, by the way. Congratulations on the acquisition. What's it been like? Well, thanks, man. Uh, it's been a really exciting kind of... Uh, journey over the last few days and uh, uh, I mean obviously things were finalized closer to the end of last week but uh, uh, with the Monday announcement uh, I think a lot of people were, were surprised and I think there's you know a lot of excitement from from fans of both teams to see what we can kind of do here to, to kind of uh, not only keep uh, what's going what's been going so well for this franchise for so long but also to see what kind of things we can do in terms of cross promotional stuff between the two brands and, and really uh, you know, uh, make it an even better experience from our fans. But, uh, you know, we were, we were buying, uh, you know, the flagship team of the NLL, so it's not like it's going to need a big rebuild or overhaul. Uh, I mean, it's status quo in terms of day-to-day. Uh, -day. It's going to be uh, very similar for, for the near future here. Well, as you've seen, Colin, major, major news. Everybody seemed to have an opinion on it. And I'm going to turn you loose on Darren in a second because he's the Blades guy, as you know. I'm the Pats guy. I think you respect that. But the question I'm getting, <laughs> the, the question I'm getting is, why? Why from your side and why from the Urban side? Well, I won't speak for the Urbans because I'm not exactly, you know, you never really know. It's like when someone says, well, why'd you trade a player? It's like, there's always reasons. But, uh, I mean, I think uh, for us, it was just such a natural because uh, we, we have, you know, the Blades... You know, anywhere from 40 to 50 games a year, events a year at Sastel. We've, uh, you know, with the rush now, that puts us into that, you know, 50, 60 night uh, in that building a year. And I think there's just so much we can do in terms of the cooperation between the two teams. And I think there's so much we can do in terms of, you know, cross branding and marketing and, and merch, all kinds of things that we can really use, you know, the best of the staffs from both teams to really, you know, bring more to the table and, and really provide a great experience for the fans of SAS Tell Center and, and all of Saskatchewan. So that's kind of the, the impetus from our part. I mean, when you have a chance to acquire, you know, a flagship team that's been incredibly successful off the field and on the field, uh, it's, you know, for us, it was uh, just a, a total no brainer. And, and we were really pleased that the Urbans entrusted us to, to take the mantle of the great job that they did and, and take it to uh, take it to the, into the future. Colin, we talked about the Blades, right? I mean, that is that was step one, but this kind of really entrenches Ian Saskatoon and, and the province. How much was, did that play into it, just being, you know, having a larger footprint in Saskatchewan? Well, I think that was big. I mean, you know, we, you know, we made a big commitment to the city of Saskatoon when we purchased the Blades, knowing it was going to need like a four- or five-year intense rebuild coming off the Mem Cup and the Shen trade years. Like the, you know, there was... There was years that we knew were going to be really dark buying that franchise. And I think coming out of those uh, strong and looking like a team that's going to be, you know, uh, you know, for the last three years, it's been a very strong team and, and no plans on that being any different for the next, uh, you know, number of years. Um, I think it was a logical one for us. So, you know, it really tied into it tied into that. And I think having two teams playing out of the same building that are both expected by their fans to win every night is a fun challenge for both you know, both uh, operations, but I think it's going to, you know, really push that competitiveness up in, in everybody to make sure that uh, we provide a winner. Okay, real hard questions now because we've seen it on social media. Um, the Rush have done collaborations all over the place. We saw the PA Raiders collaboration, you know, the Pats. How do you sell this franchise all across the province now when, uh, when you're the Blades guy? Because uh, that'll be a fun challenge, won't it? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think there's a there's a great friendly rivalry. I always hear from the PA Raider fans online on Twitter, and uh, uh, sometimes I hit like, sometimes I hit block, depending on the guy, depending how witty he is. I mean, if he brings out one of uh, <laughs> you know one of my songs from 15 years ago, and you know I'll give him credit for that. You know, he goes and does his internet research. If it's just a guy saying you're an idiot, then hey, probably gets the block button. But uh, um, yeah, it'll be fun. I th I've heard from some people in, in smaller markets that I'm friends with uh, in, around Saskatchewan that are excited about it. And I think for Rush fans, it's not going to be a whole bit much of a different experience, whether you happen to be from Saskatoon or you're from Regina. We, we welcome everybody in. We welcome all PA Raider fans in as well. Like, I mean, we always welcome into the Blades uh, games. It's, uh, 
it helps create atmosphere in the building and uh, it's it's great for the sport. So I think it's all in good fun, uh, the rivalries between the markets. And at the end of the day, the Russia are Saskatchewan's team as much as they are Saskatoon's team. So, um, you know, we're going to do whatever we can to reach out to those communities. And I think the Blades rivalries with the other markets will kind of be something that, uh, you know, is set aside for those rush nights where we can all come together. I think it's uh, I think it's tremendous. I was sad because I love the Urbans. I love them. They know that. Uh, but that was never, never anything against the Priestners, man. I, I said to them, if you're happy, I'm happy. Right? I like them. And they are happy that this is the way it's going down. Uh, from our viewers, if you don't mind, Colin, a few questions. From Chris Bird in Toronto. Sure. Colin, Colin, do you like tennis? What's the deal? <laughs> I do. I, uh, this is just a little display my wife had. Uh, we've kind of hastily put up with some old wooden rackets uh, both of us played collegiate tennis. Uh, I played down in NCAA and then at U of A for a couple of years. And my wife played for the U of A Pandas as well. That's kind of where we got to know each other. So uh, Double D knows that. We're both, uh, we talk tennis sometimes. And uh, one day we'll have to get get a hit together uh, when we're in the same city. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the wall. And you can see there's some missing uh, there's some oh, there, there's some missing <laughs> spots. We need to get some uh, some rackets that have fallen. Sometimes we sleep in the basement. Sometimes you hear at three in the morning this loud crash, and it's a wooden Jack Kramer racket that's fallen on the floor. And uh, and uh, it's but it's a cool kind of wall. I think we could get some viewers for a Colin Priestner, Darren Davis, uh, Colin Priestner. Sorry, what did you call it? A, a what's a game in tennis? A match, I guess. Yeah, you said get a match. Yeah, a Darren Dupont, Colin Priestner. I don't know who Darren Davis is. I don't know why I said that. Davis Cup, maybe? Davis uh, Cup. It was a tennis thing. Davis. You know, it was honestly a tennis thing. But I think we could get some viewers for that. From Nelson Hakowicz, huge Rush fan. He says, Colin, how do you plan to maintain success both on and off the floor that the Urban family built up? Well, good question, uh, Nelson. I think it's, um, it's that's the challenge here. I think the biggest challenge, I mean, everybody's staying in their positions, like on the business side. Andrea is going to remain, uh, you know, heading up that that operation, and and Derek on the lacrosse side. Obviously, I don't think there's any better manager in the world of lacrosse than him, and he was a big reason we bought this team. So um, I think it's on them with the leadership around them to continue to be given all the resources to succeed, like the Urbans gave them. We're going to be given them, and um, and then collaborating on whatever we can do to take it to the next level. And then, you know, that's that includes on and off the field. You know, that's. Uh, we expect to win this year with the rush. Derek believes we have a strong team. We've got some UFAs we have to get sewed up here. And once we do that, I think, you know, we've got some three first round picks in the upcoming draft and two in last year's draft that haven't got to play yet. So it's a pretty strong, exciting future, I think, for, for the team on and off the field. And our job will be to support those people in any way we can. Uh, you know, that's it. I got two last questions for you, Colin, and then I'll let you go. But one is on the lacrosse. Darren had, had said that you'd mentioned him. You're not the biggest lacrosse aficionado. This kind of a, a crash course thing for you, right? Like it, it would be for anybody. It was, it was for the Urbans when they got into the NLL, right? So I would think that's kind of exciting for you, that proposition, because any of the people that we've dealt with, and the commissioner, Nick Sakevich, they're all first-class people. Like I'm sure this is an exciting venture okay. for you. Awesome ownership group too. such a diverse group all around North America, some extremely successful people from different walks of life. I can't wait for the governor's meetings, which sometimes can be a drag in terms of, you know, going out and having a fly everywhere to, to have a three hour meeting. But this is a group of people that are really exciting to, to really get to know. And uh, the commissioner as well is just a, an extremely welcoming, open guy, open to new ideas. And that's something that we're really excited about. So, yeah, I'm, I don't come to it. Neither does my family from any lacrosse experience. I'd say we're casual fans and we've been to some games over the years more jealous of uh, how the hell they were getting all those bodies in the building and, and everything than watching uh, the intricacies of the game. But yeah, it's something I'm excited to learn. I think a lot of the owners in this league that come into it, come into it from the business side and, and learn the game. Whereas on the hockey side, we all, of course, uh, with my dad and brother playing in the Western league and being me being a hockey player growing up, uh, um, obviously we all came to it from more of a hockey perspective. This is more of a business perspective and really excited to learn the game uh, with the fans. Yeah, cool. It's all transferable, obviously. Business, right? You know that. Jen and obviously you know that better than anybody. Janelle Barkman. You know Janelle. She writes in. She says, I, I have season tickets with both teams. Will always support and believe that Colin puts the work in that's needed. Love both my teams. Excited to see what our future looks like. I think I think we all are. We're all very excited to see how this goes. I'm... I'm uh, He's a huge yeah. player. And... Uh, 
we uh, she's always been a big booster for us in the community and someone that goes out and really, um, you know, explains uh, how the team's doing, if we're doing well. And she's someone that's uh, been a big booster. So thanks, Janelle. Yeah, we need more Janelles. And by the way, Ryan Booth says, can you do a rush bobblehead night? This is a good segue to end it because we've got two Blades bobbleheads on our desk. Chase Waters is one. Wendell's another. Kirby Doc, we got three. Oh, yeah. Uh, obviously, you love bobbleheads. I think Gilly's up there, too. Is Colin Gillies on? Oh, Clark. Clark. Clark Gillies. Clark Gillies is on there. Yeah. A cousin. A, yeah, a cousin, by the way. But I will say this about the Blades. They treat us top notch. And yourself, obviously. But Hilti and Mitch Love and obviously Lester. And you had such an exciting team. Um, it was, I thought you were going to win the Subway Cup, Colin. You were rolling. Uh, what, was it, which is injuries we were at the end? We had a 9 one yeah, we had that 9-0-1 start, and I, th- I think everything was just really working out for us. And, you know, in the course of about two days, we lost uh, Robbins, Colton Dock, and Delagor Jandier, who is our top pairing defenseman, who was just having an unbelievable season. He was at a point a game, and I think plus 15 when he went out. And I think just having all three of those guys leave at the same time, I think, uh, you know, it... it, it um, it gave other players a chance to step up, but I think we definitely missed them. We had a little bit of a shell shock there for a few games, and I think you know missing out on the division by three points at the end. I mean, there's there's a couple points, uh, a couple points right there that I think we had that swing of games where we really kind of feeling sorry for ourselves and waiting for the reinforcements. And I think Mitch did an unbelievable job getting the guys back on track for the last couple of games, and you know beating Brandon the last game of the year. I think was a way, really good way to end it for us. And uh, yeah, sixteen and five and in three, I think we went so. A lot of positives, and you know we'll obviously miss some guys like uh, our twenty-year-olds, especially Chase Waters, and uh, being a five-year blade. But uh, really exciting group going forward, led by Mitch, who's uh, unreal, uh, as you guys know. And, and Hilti does an amazing job on the management side with me as my right-hand man. And Hilti's going to be joining me with the rush as well as my right-hand man there. So um, you know we've got a good thing going with both brands, and it's our job now to fill in the holes that we need to on both teams to really be successful here in the next year. Well, I will say congrats on what you've built with the Blades. I know the city is tremendously proud of the franchise. Blade City, as they say, Colin. And so thanks for this. Don't be a stranger. I know you won't. Good luck with everything and keep in touch. Thanks, guys. Uh, love the show and uh, can't wait to come on and talk some actual rush and actual Blades hockey in, uh, in the fall where we're all yeah, right in here. Hopefully in the building. <laughs> that would be Let's awesome. Thank you, Colin. Colin Priestner of the Saskatoon Blades and the Saskatchewan Rush joining us on the program today. I know you got thoughts on that. Uh, updating the poll question here. What's the best breakfast spot? This is like the Kentucky, uh, Kentucky Derby. Yeah. Down the stretch. Well, we're nowhere near the stretch drive. Denny's leading 38% of the vote. Smitty's next, 23% of the vote. Actually, Other has 27% on Twitter. And Humpty's trailing at 12. What's the leader on uh Denny say eh? there's a lot of Denny's fans out there. How about that? How about that? And just before we uh, break, this is the last day we're going to tell you support for the Rod Peterson show. I'm going to wait. I'm going to do it one more time. Support for the Rod Peterson show is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the waist grooming. Champions of the world. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped just launched their... Why do they laugh? Every time I say that, they laugh on the other side of the wall here. Manscaped just launched their fourth-generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. You heard that right. The 4.0. I can't wait to see it because I got the 3.0, and it has a headlight on it. A headlight. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer just for you. This is the last day. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code... RP20 at manscaped.com. Order it today. Manscaped.com. Promo code RP20. How about Lots that? to come. How about that? Moose joins us in here as well. Sports update on the other side of this break. You're watching the RP show on Game Plus TV, YouTube and Facebook Live, and 24 hour sports radio for Suds Full Service Car Wash at RodPeterson.com. Have you subscribed to the Rod Peterson Show YouTube channel yet? Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now.
There's something for everyone at the Mad Greek Eatery. Delicious Greek dishes, pizza, lasagna, pastas, soups, salads, and much more. The Mad Greek Eatery brings the best authentic Greek cuisine right to you. Available for licensed dining, events, delivery, and takeout. For the best taste and huge portions, there is only one place. Visit the Mad Greek Eatery, downtown Moose Jaw. Call for takeout and delivery today. Bronco Plumbing and Heating, proudly serving Regina and surrounding areas since 1978. We are excited to announce the new Bryant Furnace Trade-In Allowance Program. If you have a working Bryant Furnace, 15 years old or less, you may be eligible to receive a new furnace at a discounted rate. If you'd like to take advantage of the Bryant Trade-In Program, or to hear how we can help improve your home, give us a call today at 306-781-2090. Direct West provides us with stats and analytics and, and it's amazing for us to look and see that you know each year we're 10 to 20 percent higher on our Google Leads. It's great to see the success that our, our locations are having. The Direct West app gives us an opportunity to be in one place for people to find uh, any of our locations or our commodities. Without Direct West we would have to be in multiple digital places. I would recommend Direct West, they're great to work with. Rockstar Supply Chain Solutions is Saskatchewan's only full-service supply chain company. Strategic sourcing, PO creation, and order expediting, VMI and vending solutions, and free delivery are just a few of the supply chain services we provide. If your company needs it, Rockstar Supply Chain Solutions can get it for you. Price, quality, service, Rockstar Supply Chain Solution is helping Saskatchewan companies buy better. Some of the challenges we face with the CT technology that we have today is some of the deficiencies in around integration with some of our other systems. The addition of, of two new 40 simulators uh, within the programming of the Saskatchewan Cancer Agency is, is going to have significant impact on, on you know, the care we provide to the people of Saskatchewan. Capital GMC is your used car destination. We're overstocked and priced to move, so shop online or in-store to get the best deal on any one of our massive selection of certified pre-owned vehicles. Every certified vehicle includes the balance of manufacturer's warranty, 150 plus point inspection, roadside assistance and certified exchange privilege. So save the depreciation and buy pre-owned. Capital GMC is your used car destination at the corner of Rochdale and Pasqua in Regina. Send us your opinions now. We won't victimize you unless you really deserve it. Now, back to your host, Rod Peterson. Okay, welcome back to the program, everybody. And this is why we love daytime sports talk, because although the games are at night, the news happens during the day. That's right. And something just came to me from Las Vegas. So remind me about that on my phone. But first, the sports news that's so two hours ago. Breaking news, the Toronto Rock is returning to their original home. The National Lacrosse League announced this morning it has reached a five-year agreement to relocate the franchise from Scotiabank Arena to Hamilton's first union center, starting with the plan 2021-22 season. They're gone. They're out. The agreement comes with a team option for a multi-year extension. The Winnipeg Jets keep struggling after losing for the ninth time in 10 games. The Canucks topped the Jets 3-1, but the victory wasn't enough to keep the uh, Canucks' faint playoff hopes alive. Vancouver was officially eliminated from the playoff race earlier in the day. The Montreal Canadiens uh, secured a postseason spot despite dropping a 4-3 overtime decision to the Oilers at Centre Bell. Connor McDavid scored a 242 of overtime for his league-leading 102nd point of the season. JT Comfer scored a go-ahead goal in the third period, and the Colorado Avalanche preserved their chances to finish first in the West with a 2-1 win over the Vegas Golden Knights. The Avs trail the Golden Knights by two points atop the division. Vegas has one game left. Colorado has two. I was crunching some numbers this morning, dupes. The Golden Knights can still capture the President's Trophy. They have to win their last game and hope everybody else loses. All right. So you're saying yes. there's a chance. 
Connor Frenette opened the scoring with a shorty in the second period before potting the winner at 17.04 of overtime, and the Victoriaville Tigre edged the Blainville Boisbrian Armada 3-2 last night in Game 2 of their Quebec Major Junior Hockey League second round playoff series. That uh, series is now tied 1 1. It's a best of five. Connor Levis had three goals and two assists, and Frazier Minton scored once and set up four more as the Kamloops Blazers down the Kelowna Rockets 10 2 Monday night in the dub. Uh, two years after their thrilling run to the Larry O'Brien Trophy, this Toronto Raptors season will also go down as one of the most memorable in history, but for all the wrong reasons. The Raptors were officially eliminated from a spot in the NBA's postseason play-in tournament with the Pacers' uh, 111-102 victory over the Cavs. This sports update for the Tap Brew House and drive through Liquor Store and for Red Bull Canada, Red Bull gives you wings. And I told you I had news. Vegas. Yeah, from Vegas. An email has come into my hands from Canada's team, the Vegas Golden Knights. The Vegas Golden Knights announced today, May 11th, that Chairman and CEO Bill Foley, in partnership with Dollar Loan Center founder Chuck Brennan, has officially purchased an expansion franchise from the Indoor Football League. Whoa! The Indoor Football League. How about that? Yeah! The expansion franchise will be based in the Las Vegas Valley and becomes the 18th team expected to play in the 2022 season, which will be the 14th season for the IFL. Additional growth and expansion within the IFL is expected in the coming months. Fans can place a deposit for season ticket packages for only $50 at VegasIndoorFootball.com. So there you go. Thank you, Golden Knights, for sending me that here today. What do we think about this? I mean... Everybody's moving. Everybody's making moves. Everybody's making moves, moving forward. And, you know, if you're not moving forward, unfortunately, you're not staying still. You're moving backwards. That's just the way it is. Because if you put on the brakes, and we know teams and leagues that have done that, not going to mention them, but everybody else is going to be ahead of you <laughs> for ticket dollars, and you're going to be left with scraps, unfortunately. It's just the way the world works. doesn't mean you can't get back there, but it's just so much more difficult. And, you know, you have to be creative. And you have to – the first step in any situation is, is realizing there's a problem, right? That's the first step to recovery, right, is, under, is being aware of the problem. And if you're not aware of the problem and you're only set with the way that it was and you're not willing to let go of that and move forward in this new world, then unfortunately – you're always going to be stuck where you were. Yeah. Um, yeah, the CFL sitting here, unable to agree on anything nor play, and everybody's just making moves on them. Yeah. And my initial thought is always about the players. It's the first thing I thought when I heard this. The expansion team in Vegas, the Indoor Football League, which most of you don't even know about, but they got 13 teams, as they just said, from Bismarck to San Diego. I think the San Jose Barracudas are in that league. I believe Colt Brennan played for them. If you watch the ranch, yeah, he wore yeah. a shirt for the He's got a shirt for him. Yeah, uh, I believe that's the team. Anyways, they're all making their moves. The CFL's sitting there not doing anything. Uh, anyways, Allie Hicks writes in. She says, "Good morning, RP show from near Oilers Arena. My vote for Denny's in Sherwood Park is it? That's for our poll question today. What's the best? What's the best breakfast spot? She says, "My vote for Denny's in Sherwood Park isn't just for the good breakfast, but for the great staff." Last year, my mom, who was a huge fan of the Riders and Richie Hall, passed away when our favorite server... Uh, it's a long message. Sorry. It's on the screen. Thank you, Allie, for the vote. We're going to take a time out and come back and unpack all this news in Viewer Takeover next. And Nick Kiprios, that lovely Greek boy, is coming up in hour two, by the way, from Real Kipper at noon to talk some National Hockey League. So you're watching the RP Show on Game Plus TV Network, YouTube and Facebook Live, and 24-hour sports radio for Suds Full Service Car Wash at RodPeterson.com. Have you subscribed to the Rod Peterson Show YouTube channel yet? Head to YouTube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now. People donate blood for moments like this. 
But there are lots of reasons why Canada's lifeline needs donors every day. Like the fact that someone with leukemia can eat up to eight units of blood a week. Or that donated blood lasts no longer than 42 days. Or to help new moms and babies, like Henry. There's lots of reasons to donate blood. That's why we need donors every day. The need for blood is constant. Join Toyota and our Toyota dealers in supporting Canada's lifeline. Direct West has been the bridge for me from not dealing with social media or digital presence to having a presence. You have to take the leap of faith, so to say, and I'm glad we have. Direct West has helped us out immensely to get our presence online as far as digitally and also with the social media page. To see the results is just, uh, just puts a smile on your face. <laughs> IKS Live. IKS Live. Western Canada's premier production services company. LED. LED sign rentals. Video. Video production. Event. Event management. Look no further than IKS Live. Visit our website. IKS Live. Always the best seat in the house. IKS Live. Bronco Plumbing and Heating. Proudly serving Regina and surrounding areas since 1978, we are excited to announce the new Bryant Furnace Trade and Allowance Program. If you have a working Bryant Furnace, 15 years old or less, you may be eligible to receive a new furnace at a discounted rate. If you'd like to take advantage of the Bryant Trade and Program or to hear how we can help improve your home, give us a call today at 306-781-2090. At Prairie Mobile, you can get the phone you want when you want. All smartphones are $0 every day. With convenient locations across Saskatchewan, Prairie Mobile, your Sastel authorized dealer, has you covered. Visit us online at prairiemobile.com. Universal Collision Center is Saskatchewan's premier auto body shop. Our extensive process ensures that every vehicle that comes through our state-of-the-art facilities is returned pre-accident condition and that every UCC customer experience is an easy one. We're certified to repair all makes, all models, and all luxury brands, and Universal Auto Spa offers full-service detailing packages to suit you and your vehicle. Plus, we're the official body shop of your Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Universal Collision Center, 3910 Rochdale Boulevard and 2355 First Avenue in Regina. Hey, Rod Squad, now you can join the team with your very own RP Show gear. Head to rodpetersonshop.com and get yours today while supplies last. It's just like we wear on the show, official RP Show gear at rodpetersonshop.com. Time for more of the Rod Peterson Show. We could probably update that. I've been back for 482 episodes. <laughs> You're back from break. I'm man. back from break. Okay. <laughs> we just changed the meaning of it. Yeah. Uh, Trent from Norway watching, where it is currently 6.51 p.m. Norway calling. I enjoyed Mr. Breakfast in Regina between gigs. As for Tim Tebow, the tight end experiment in Jacksonville would be interesting to see. Leafs win over Montreal in the first round. Stay safe, everyone. Nice little report there from Trenton, Norway. He's referring to our poll question today. The best breakfast spot is dot, dot, dot. And running away with it right now is Denny's. So if you don't agree with that, rush to the polls and vote on Facebook or Twitter. Mine, I'm a Ricky's guy. I quite like Fresh and Sweet, but that's a locally owned uh, spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right? good, too. So I saw Alan Hordell putting this on Twitter moments ago. If I can find it, he says, uh, about breaking news. If you want all your breaking sports news, you need to tune into the Rod Peterson Show, the fastest growing daytime sports show, far from boring sports shows, if you know what I mean. I'm thinking about Vegas getting into the indoor football league announced this morning by the Vegas Golden Knights. And I cut myself off last segment. I think about the players. 
The Riders used to laugh at the Arena Football League. Those guys are playing for 500 a game. What a bunch of losers. Now what? Now how are things? I'm thinking if I'm an American, I'm probably going to play in the Vegas Indoor Football League because it's not a long-term thing. They're all doing it to get on film, get seen, display their skills, and get to the National Football League. I'm sure most of you know that Las Vegas is a hub for the entire Southwest United States. Guys jump in their car, drive to Vegas for a tryout and play for $500 a game. When you factor in the exchange, taxes, everything else that's going on in Canada, I am, uh, you're like me. We first thought how this impacts the CFL. It's the first thing we thought. And I'm sure the CFL is thinking it doesn't impact them at all because there's an endless supply of players, literally endless. But the indoor football league, this is no fledgling thing. Nobody can say this twice failed thing that they've been saying about the XFL. No, they can't. So from a player's perspective, Darren, that, because I've never, forget, Marcus Chunky Adams. Remember Chunky? Yep. He went down. He couldn't get a, find a contract in the CFL after several years of having played in, for the Rough Riders. And I think he bounced around a little bit. He went to Spokane. I'll never forget. Spokane, whatever they were. Shock? Okay. Or is that the women's basketball team? Whatever. Spokane. And I'm like, Chunky, is it true that you're... I saw him in the gym all the time. I'm like, Chunky, is it true that you're going to Spokane to play in the Arena League? He goes, yeah. The one that play on the NFL Network. And he went down there and he played. He was very good in that league. Exposure. Boom. Right? And you get it wherever it is, right? The paycheck is one thing, and getting paid to play, great. But also exposure and getting the chance to play, but being on the network and, you know, a league that's got some history behind it. Football people want to play. Football players want to play football. Yes. You know, I don't think it matters where. Obviously, you always want to play at the highest level, and you want to make the most money. But at the end of the day, football players want to play football. And so I think that's, hey, it's big news. There was a time, we talk about it all the time, like, you know, everybody thinks that if the league doesn't succeed and become the NFL right out of the gate, that it's a failure. The NFL hasn't always been the NFL either. There was a time we talked about where the CFL players were making more money than NFL players. When the number one overall pick in the NFL draft decided to come and play in the Canadian Football League. You know, so the leagues can always grow. So it's exciting. John Schmeiser is watching in Kansas City. He says, I don't know what it is, but every day it seems less and less likely that the CFL will play this year. From Nelson Hackowich, our VP of Sim Events, says, objects in the rearview mirror may appear closer than they actually are. I feel like you stole that line from me. I said, you're either going forwards or you're going backwards. Nobody's standing. Did you steal that from me or did you know that before? We became close friends. Yeah. Did you know it before? You probably did. Probably. You probably did. Pick Either way, lot, we both though. agree with that. We agree with it. Is the CFL moving forward? I don't think so. It would appear that it's moving backwards. Um, it's sad. It is. It's sad what's going on. It is. It, it, that's, the, that's the hard part is it is really sad because we know what it can be. We know how great it is. We know how good the product is. There's so many things that work well, but... You have to find a way to compete in today's market. And, and unfortunately, today's viewers you know, don't have the same habits that they did 10 years ago. And today's consumers don't spend yeah. their money in the same way they did 10 years ago. Doesn't mean the product sucks. It means you got to reinvent the business model. Saddest thing for me with the CFL, aside from them not playing, is to the inability and unwillingness to adapt and adjust. Steadfast refusal. That's been very disappointing. Perry Mullall text line. One before we go from the 716 on the breakfast poll. Yeah. I hop, baby. And then goes on to say, Roddy, Salisbury House in Winnipeg, cheese, egg, nip, extra thick French toast. Ooh. Omelets to fill oversized plates. Just putting that out there. Wow. Nick Kiprios joins us in the second hour kickoff right after this timeout. Head to YouTube.com slash The Rod Peterson Show now. You got to subscribe. Click the subscribe button for all the content you may have missed. Universal Collision Center is Saskatchewan's premier auto body shop. 
Our extensive process ensures that every vehicle that comes through our state-of-the-art facilities is returned pre-accident condition and that every UCC customer experience is an easy one. We're certified to repair all makes, all models, and all luxury brands, and Universal Auto Spa offers full-service detailing packages to suit you and your vehicle. Plus, we're the official body shop of your Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Universal Collision Center, 3910 Rochdale Boulevard, and 2355 First Avenue in Regina. Bronco Plumbing and Heating, proudly serving Regina and surrounding area since 1978. We are excited to announce the new Bryant Furnace Trade and Allowance Program. If you have a working Bryant Furnace, 15 years old or less, you may be eligible to receive a new furnace at a discounted rate. If you'd like to take advantage of the Bryant Trade and Program or to hear how we can help improve your home, give us a call today at 306-781-2090. At Prairie Mobile, you can get the phone you want when you want. All smartphones are $0 every day. With convenient locations across Saskatchewan, Prairie Mobile, your Sastel authorized dealer, has you covered. Visit us online at prairiemobile.com. IKS Live. IKS Live. Western Canada's premier production services company. LED. LED sign rental. Video. Video production. Event, event management. Look no further than IKS Live. Visit our website. IKS Live. Always the best seat in the house. IKS Live. There's something for everyone at the Mad Greek Eatery. Delicious Greek dishes, pizza, lasagna, pastas, soups, salads, and much more. The Mad Greek Eatery brings the best authentic Greek cuisine right to you. Available for licensed dining, events, delivery, and takeout. For the best taste and huge portions, there is only one place. Visit the Mad Greek Eatery, downtown Moose Jaw. Call for takeout and delivery today. People donate blood for moments like this. But there are lots of reasons why Canada's Lifeline needs donors every day. Like the fact that someone with leukemia can eat up to eight units of blood a week. Or that donated blood lasts no longer than 42 days. Or to help new moms and babies, like Henry. There's lots of reasons to donate blood. That's why we need donors every day. The need for blood is constant. Join Toyota and our Toyota dealers in supporting Canada's Lifeline. Business owners and marketers. Okay, we know you think we're pretty cool. That's why we want you to share in the coolness factor. Partner with The Rod Peterson Show and market your business every weekday to sports lovers just like yourself. Take advantage of our many cost-effective commercial and promotional opportunities. Tell the world about your business. Yes, the world. Thanks to Game Plus TV and The Rod Peterson Digital Network. Contact us today and find out how you can be a part of Canada's fastest-growing sports talk show, The Rod Peterson Show. No. Here's a little secret with what I do at the Rod Peterson Show. I've made a career of it. I don't care whether you like me or you don't like me, but when you watch my show, I just want you to feel something. How about that? Whether you're happy or you're sad or you're angry or you're proud, I just want you to feel something. Because a lot of times you'll read a column or watch a show and say, eh. That's never been the hallmark of what I do. I want to make you think. I want to make you feel something. And it's work. And if you don't agree with me, I'll be fine. This is the Rod Peterson Show. All right, welcome to the second hour kickoff, everybody. We did a little panic there in the break. <laughs> uh, we got our timing. I need to slow down. Take a breather. Yeah, because I've been misreading Clark's messages to me. Okay. Right? I'm skimming through them very fast. And, mis and that's fine. So Nick Kiprios is coming up next segment. I thought he was coming up this same. Doesn't mean anything to you, I know. But... Hey, settle in for coffee. Thanks for joining us today yeah. on Canada's Daytime Sports Talk Show, uh, episode number 482. I don't know. We might have to change the name of it again because we started out as Western Canada's Sports Talk Show. Then it was Western Canada's Daytime Sports Talk Show. Then it was Canada's Daytime Sports Show. And I'm telling you that I have a feeling the future of this show is in America. In America. I really believe that. I just got a, I got a, a tweet here. 
from Daryl Jones. You want to talk about small world stuff and universes colliding and everything? He's, he was one of the owners of the Arizona Coyotes, and he also played for the Weyburn Red Wings. How about that? How about that? I met him oh, in wow. Phoenix. So on this breaking news today that the Vegas Golden Knights have got an expansion franchise in the Indoor Football League, he just wrote me, Jonesy says, <laughs> Daryl Jones and Rod Peterson live podcast for the first home game from Vegas. And I'm like, let's go. I used a meme of Tommy Boy. It's go time. Let's go. It's go time. Las Vegas has an indoor football league. Why the hell not? I mean, you're sitting there. You're the business guy. Mergers, acquisitions, expansion teams. You're going to play in T-Mobile Arena. I swear to God, I've been going for Vegas for years. And I was never, ever, ever a big gambler. You know, just never. Be, I would rather spend two dollars on a cup of coffee than on a bet. Yep, that's just me. So I was always looking for sports to do in Vegas for years, and there was never anything but the Las Vegas Fifty Ones, or maybe go to an out of the way NCAA college basketball game, which really wasn't my thing. Triple A baseball or that. Now they've got NHL, NFL, indoor football league, and God knows American Hockey League. All of a sudden, they become the sports capital of America. You really have. It'd be a good place to put a sports show. You would think, right? You know, it, especially a daytime sports especially show. Especially a daytime sports show. When everybody's let's say they're hungover, they've been out the night before and they don't want to get up, but they want to be entertained still. Flip on the TV, Game Plus Network, while you're sitting in your hotel suite, watch a show. Oh, I know. Or while you're soaking your feet in the pool in the morning. Oh, there they are, poolside. Oh, I and I'm dreaming now, okay? Just so you understand what I do on a daily basis about the future of this show. I could, but, but the, the, Daryl Jones is the guy that you never hear about. We always talk about Gary Drummond and Anthony LeBlanc as owners of the Coyotes. Daryl was always kind of the quiet one, you know, but he was the hockey guy that played in Weyburn. And when he found out that I was yeah. from Milestone, well, pfft, how do you think we got along? He was the guy that I told you stayed overnight in the White House, remember? And mm -hmm. George Bush... President George W. Bush came up to him one day in the White House with his cowboy hat on and pajamas. President George Bush said to this guy, Daryl Jones, said, where are you bunking in tonight? Like, what room do you want here in the White House? He was there doing oil business. Anyways, I'm sorry. We'll get unbelievable. Back. We'll get back on track. But Daryl told me that story. It's unbelievable. And we've stayed friends. Um, and then the other news, which actually I see the comment section has not hijacked, but has run amok with, and it's not the rush being sold anymore. We've moved. That's so yesterday. Now it's the Toronto rock are moving from downtown Toronto to Hamilton to play out of the first Ontario center. Well, I got to get a statement on this. Why are they doing that? Yeah, I said uh, lower rent, whatever. You mm -hmm. said, how's it, how are they going to go over in Hamilton? Will they accept a, a Toronto team? I, I would hope they do. But again, I've never lived in the Golden Horseshoe, so I don't get how they think out there. Where the heck? And that's, by the way, where the heck was it? Chris Bird. What's it? They're raging about this. Chris Bird says, pretty small potatoes in the Toronto sports scene, unfortunately. Oh, well, snooty, you, you, you. The Toronto sports scene, you're not big enough for us. You see how that's a problem? It is. Absolutely. Yeah, the, the rock doesn't fit in in our highfalutin. If you're not big time, oh, it's okay to get an indoor football league in Vegas. That's fine. But in Toronto, you're not good enough for Toronto. That's why the rest of the country hates you. I'm how sorry. I'm sorry. It's that attitude that you're better than everybody else. That's what it is. Sorry, I feel like it had to be said. No, and I'm sorry. It's not sorry. No, and it's not. It's not a good trait to have, right? <laughs> no, it's not. It's it, it feels along the lines of like post game trash talk, right? Which I dislike so much. It's a little bit when you're when you're up and you're on top. It's how you treat people beneath you that right. really de determines your character, right? Mm -hmm. And if you think the Toronto Rock are beneath you, which clearly they do, well. And they probably are. We're talking about the Raptors, the Leafs, the Jays, right? The Rock don't measure. I get it. I get it. I'm not like, I'm not a, you know, I'm realist here. But it's how do you treat them? Are, they, are you still proud that they're in your community? Are you still, you know, want them to, to prop them up and support teams that are in your backyard? I think that goes a long way to determining your character.
And it's important. Uh, the only time you look down on somebody is when you are helping them up. Anyways, I've started another holy war here today. <laughs> I grew up on the rock, man. They were kings. You grew up in, no- in Newfoundland? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, it's the power of television. We got into the NLL because mm-hmm. we watched the Rock on TS, the Toronto Rock on TSN in the early 90s. That's, That's right. It's a thing. Um, from Troy in Toronto, where is it? He says, no way will Hamilton like a Toronto-branded team in the Hammer. Rebranded. But I believe they already made the announcement this morning that it's going to stay the Toronto Rock playing out of Hamilton. Troy goes on to say, ouch. Well, I'm sorry, not sorry, Troy says, that's one man's opinion. Don't paint us Toronto guys with the same brush. Fair. But I think there's a reason why you're watching this show here right now rather than SportsCenter for the 13th time on a loop. You're getting live breaking news here rather than the fact that the Raptors are going to miss the playoffs this year. Yeah. And just one last one from Nelson. Uh, Saskatchewanians have that attitude about the new soccer club. They would rather have horse racing. I don't know who you're talking to. Most people I know are very excited that there's a pro Canadian Premier League team coming to Saskatoon. Just the horse people are upset that the horse racing's going down. Mm. Oh, Brady Leovold's watching from the Mental Health Hockey Podcast Network. Puck support, as we call it. He says, nailed it. He's referring to what John in Vancouver says. Love that, Rod, about lifting one up. The only time you should look down on somebody is when you're helping them up. Write that down. The poll question today, what's the best breakfast spot? We almost came to blows in here, getting to the final three. Yeah. I'm not overly even comfortable with the final three, but here's what they are. Humpty's, Smitty's, Denny's, or other. And Denny's is leading with 38%. My personal favorite is Ricky's All Day Grill. To me, it's the best breakfast anywhere. Cora's getting a lot of votes, and I like Cora, and I go to Cora, and I always get the fruit split, the nuts, the berries, you know what I mean? That's not not breakfast. It's not breakfast. It's what what rabbits eat. You want a good breakfast. For me, it's Ricky's. Grease. Didn't even make the, yeah, a little bit of grease. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, yeah. You know, Denny's, I think Denny's is winning the poll for one reason, 24 hours. (laughs) <laughs> that's it 24 hours they're the one that's good they're the one that's good um <laughs> the internet you understand the interactive nature of this show is the hook that has you all addicted you know that right sorry to rip the curtain back it's not just two guys sitting here talking. It's an entire continent talking together. And Brady says, because he played for the Swiftcoat Broncos and the Kelowna Rockets and the Norfolk Admirals, he says, the Broncos don't survive without Smitty's on Swift Current, at least while I was there, 03 to 07. It's a great spot. And that's why we put Smitty's on there. It's just an iconic brand. But IHOP getting a lot of votes. And the first one I was ever at was on the South Las Vegas Strip. Very good. Yeah, familiar. You know, they, they do the, uh, the novelty pancakes, right? Red velvet cake, confetti, like the little, the sweet ones, which I'm kind of uh, grown out of a little bit, but every once in a while. Yep. It's fun. Tank Abbott's watching in the energy capital. He says, Grandma's house. I think we need to put a ban on family. My dad, if he was ever in charge of making supper. Yeah. He'd make a breakfast. Bacon and eggs for breakfast. For, for, supper. for supper. That's always yeah. great. It's not weird. No. You're weird for thinking it's weird. <laughs> Your pants are weird. <laughs> How about that? How about that? I'm like, Dad, why are you always making breakfast for supper? He's like, hard to, you can't screw up a breakfast. That's what my dad said. That's great. <laughs> From Habs for Life. He's watching in Vancouver. Oh, my God. Now I want pancakes. <laughs> You know, Jim Perry, our sales manager, is watching in Calgary thinking his mind's racing. Which breakfast place am I going to approach first I know. to advertise on this show? Well, when you talked about the pan scrambler at Humpty's, Ooh. how it changed your life. You never forget your first. No. We pulled the, we pulled the clip so we could Did send you? it to Humpty's. 
Nobody's ever even touched a Humpty's pan scrambler. Is that because the first ruined me or what? Because everybody special. tries it, yeah. often imitated, never duplicated. The Humpty's pan scrambler, oh, the Mexican. Mucho bueno. A little caliente. Mm. <laughs> Do you understand any of that? Of course. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> there's always something. Like the one in Saskatoon poached, it's not... Only it's only available in Saskatoon. I'm hearing about that. But they do these maple bacon roll ups. It's like a little rolled up bacon with pecans yeah. and maple syrup and like that will just knock your socks off. So everybody's got their thing. The sugar bowl in, in Edmonton's another independent one in Edmonton that I just love that every time great. I go there. It's so good. Sounds like my kind of place. Just off White Ave on the other side of the the river there. Really, really good. <sighs> To the Prairie Mobile text line. And by the way, we got uh, Nick Kiprios coming up next segment. I love that guy. You can write us at 306-840-8777. Prairie Mobile is your authorized Tell mobility dealer. Hey, Rod. I love, this is from Brady. I love me some Perkins, but I also do like Denny's. I agree with Craig Button. It's going to be a short and frustrating playoffs for us Habs fans. We need two things to happen in order to even have a shot at winning against the Leafs. Kerry comes back in full health and turns on God mode. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Yeah. Or the Leafs stupidly put in Freddie. They might. They might. Who are you starting if you're Sheldon Jack Keith? Campbell. Yeah? Oh, yeah. From Jim. Oh, what about Big Save Dave? <laughs> What you what you get him for? He doesn't exist. I mean, he does. What about make a save. He's Dave? not. Yeah, but make a save. No, they, you know, and that's why he got him. I think. Forget about what he's done. David Reddick has the ability to come in and win games in the playoffs if you need him to. So does Freddie Anderson. But you're you're right now. You got to ride Jack Campbell. He's you've kind of given him the keys to the franchise. You got to go with him. Jim Wagner on the Prairie Mobile text line. We have breakfast for supper often. We call it Brepper. Have a great day, all. Um, from Jim Perry, Jimmy Two Tables, our sales manager, is watching in Calgary, and he says, we need a breakfast sponsor. Tank Abbott says, it's humorous, the spicy cheese sauce on the scrambler. Can't beat it. No, it's the mucho caliente. That's what puts it a cut above. Regarding the sports... Back to the breaking news today. Nothing about the rush or the uh, the rock moving to Hamilton. That's the news. I'm more excited about the indoor football league expanding to Las Vegas. You thought I was going to say NLL. Yes, I did. I was waiting for NLL. I'm like, wait a second. But then my mind's like, no, they just did the rush announcement. They did the rock announcement. They're not dropping this at the same time to blow that news away. They'd wait for something like that. Indoor football league. Very interesting. Uh, okay, 30 seconds, Clark tells More breaking news today, and this is sad. <laughs> Former Hawaii quarterback and Saskatchewan Rough Rider, Colt Brennan has passed away at the age of 37. Details not available at this time. I knew Colt, very, very troubled young man. And his life came to an end today. Thank you, Clark, for that. Where'd you, where'd you get that? Okay, it's popping up. All, yeah, it's sad. I can find some photos. I knew Cole. Just a troubled guy. Sad. Uh, but we will put a smile on your face next when we talk National Hockey League with uh, Nick Kiprios from Real Kipper at Noon. We'll be right back. You're watching the RP Show on Game Plus TV live daily on YouTube and Facebook and 24-hour sports radio for Suds Full Service Car Wash at rodpeterson.com. Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now. You gotta subscribe. Click the subscribe button for all the content you may have missed. Nestled in the scenic Quapel Valley, just 20 minutes northwest of Regina, is one of the finest golf courses in all of Saskatchewan, the Deer Valley Golf Club. The clubhouse has a full-service restaurant, and customers can enjoy a casual dining experience with spectacular views of the golf course and valley. A fully stocked golf shop staffed by PGA of Canada professionals is equipped to meet all of your golf apparel and equipment needs. Book your tee time, family event, or corporate tournament today at the Deer Valley Golf Club. Call 306-731-1445. Introducing Original 16 Hard Seltzer. 
the refreshing taste of lemon and Saskatoon berry with vodka made in Saskatchewan. New Hart Seltzers from Original 16. Capital Ford Lincoln is Truck Nation. Looking to buy your next truck or sell your current one? Capital is Canada's truck destination. Shop online or in store to see the new 2021 Ford F-150, Ranger, Escape, and more. Right now is the best time to lease or finance a new vehicle. Can't find exactly what you're looking for? Let us help by sourcing your vehicle from our dealer network or custom ordering one that is perfect for you. Capital Ford Lincoln is Truck Nation, 1201 Pasqua Street North in Regina. Does this look familiar? Your fans deserve an incredible arena experience. It's time for an upgrade. Stunning graphics. Revenue opportunities are just the beginning with our in-venue display systems and scoring technology. Let us help you find the best solution for your facility. BDG, always delivering the best fan experience. Some of the challenges we face with the CT technology that we have today is some of the deficiencies in around integration with some of our other systems. The addition of, of two new 40 simulators uh, within the programming of the Saskatchewan Cancer Agency is, is going to have significant impact on, on you know, the care we provide to the people of Saskatchewan. We started Suds Car Wash in 2003. There's a bit of us in every part of the business. I've been working here since I was about 10 years old. Hard to believe it's been 12 years since. Our parents always taught us about the importance of quality of work and friendly service. And here at Sanskarish, we're a family-run business, so it's really important that our customers feel like family. From all of us at Suds Car Wash, we make your car shine. Here's how your business can be a part of Canada's fastest growing sports talk show. All you have to do is contact us and we will tell you all about the dynamic and exciting marketing opportunities we have utilizing a fully integrated 360 degree multi-platform. Imagine your business seen and heard across Canada on Game Plus TV and around the world on the Rod Peterson Digital Network. You will use one of the most overused expressions in sports. You gotta be kidding me. Get your business involved. Contact the Rod Peterson Show today. Hey, honey, can you get one of the kids to show me how this Twitter thing works? Honey, I need to get on Instagram. Time for more of the Rod Peterson Show. All right, welcome back, everybody, to the RP Show. It is hour two, and it's what we affectionately call the second half kickoff. And we uh, invite your questions and comments through the Prairie Mobile text line, 306-840-8777. Or uh, you can write us on the comments section here. Write us on Twitter, too. It is our honor to uh, welcome Nick Kiprios to the program. The Real Kipper joining us from the Big Smoke to talk a little National Hockey League today. Can I add to your bio now, Kipper? Best-selling author? I assume on drafts it just shattered the best-selling <laughs> status, I assume. I would imagine the Greeks uh, here in Toronto on the Danforth scooped them all up. I, I, I hope that's the case. Oh well, I hey, I married a Greek, by the way. I know they all have it out here, and uh, they're big. They're big fans of you. I think I've mentioned that the last time that you were on. So yeah. congratulations on adding that to your title. Hey, Kipper, I mentioned I got questions from the viewers that have come in, and I'm going to get to those uh, briefly here. But the last time we chatted, I scoffed at the Toronto Maple Leafs, the prospect of them finishing first, and yeah. here we are. Did you see this coming? The way they just rolled wire to wire. Not the rolling part. Uh... We did have them finishing a top of the North Division prior to the season. We knew that uh, you know Matthews, with what he's been able to do from that first game in Ottawa, where he scored four four goals in his opening game, opening career game, that he was he's he's a special player to the degree that we've seen the goal scoring. I'm, I'm not sure we anticipated that, but him and Connor McDavid have been incredible stories for the National Hockey League under trying times. But what I didn't see, Rod, was uh, the rollover on other teams in the North, you know, particularly Calgary with their aggressive free agent signings of Markstrom, Tanov. 
I, I didn't see that one coming. I didn't see Vancouver um, being as bad as they they've been all season long in terms of, you know, the challenges. Of course, with the COVID, we understand that. But this is a team that probably should have had the most momentum coming into this season, and it was anything but. Maybe it was uh, losing Markstrom. Maybe it was, uh, you know, other aspects of of being so close last year to to building a, a competitive team that uh, they couldn't overcome the setback. But, you know, overall, I, I am disappointed in the North, the push that uh, teams gave the, the Toronto Maple Leafs. At the end of the day, they did what they were supposed to do, and that's win more hockey games than anybody else in the North, and they should be the favorites, despite Connor McDavid's her- heroic uh, season of over 100 points. They are the favorites, Rod, to, to be in a conference final. Right, but the thing is, it's Canada, as you know, Kipper, so we're going to dissect every little thing. And you, I'm assuming you saw Craig Button saying on SportsCenter last night that the Habs won't win a game in round one, and he's yeah. getting nailed to the cross for that. So it's not enough to win a series, Kipper. you got to sweep them now. Uh, you know how that is, right? You're afraid to say anything, or yeah. maybe you're not afraid to say anything. I don't know, but Craig, that's a pretty bold statement. Well, I, yeah, I, I, I said last week uh, a couple times on some radio hits that they're, they're just not a good hockey club. And they, they look like they're, they're limping over the finish line. And uh, there's no indication that they have any juice at all like they did last season in the bubble. Uh, we know how they won. Uh, they suffocated uh, offense. They shut it down. And it was led, you know, uh, by Shea Weber, uh, Ben Sherratt. Uh, and there's no indication that that's going to happen a second time around. And I like uh, uh, Jake Allen and what he's been able to do. He's earned every dollar uh, since signing as a free agent there, but he can't carry this, not the way Carey Price was supposed to carry this. And they're going to snap their fingers, and Carey Price is going to be all world next week. I I mean, (laughs) should we just buy a lottery ticket and hope that thing comes through? I, I just don't see where the goals are coming from. I look at uh, the center ice position and how is Nick Suzuki and Kukni and Emmy going to go up against, uh, you know, Connor McDavid or Austin Matthews. There's just, there's just no light at the end of the tunnel for, uh, for the Montreal Canadians this time around. Well, you talk to the blue jackets people there when Josh Anderson was lighting it up early on, they're like, just wait. <laughs> There's a reason that he that we traded him out of here, right? And yeah, I like I like Josh Anderson a lot. I like to Foley a lot. But these guys aren't game changers. They are they they are support guys at the highest level. Uh, and there is no star power on the Montreal Canadiens. There is not one guy that you can sit there and say that guy can change the the pace of play with one shift that this guy can carry momentum. Josh Anderson, can he go in there and, and, and run the crap out of certain players like a Morgan Riley? Yeah, he could, and he could hurt people physically. But that doesn't, that doesn't turn into it, uh, doesn't turn into, a, for me, a, a six or seven game win uh, in a series for them. Well, and there's a couple. Th- I just want to address one thing on the Jets, and then talk about the Rangers, because we have a lot of viewers in the states and New York, and I assume you're the same. But we all, I anointed the Jets winners of the Line A trade very early on, and yeah. now they can't score goals, <laughs> and they're on the cusp of the playoffs. Maybe they didn't win that trade, Kipper. What, what's your thought on the Jets limping in? Well, I'm okay with uh, uh, Pierre Luc Dubois. I like him a lot. And I still do. The thing is, though, he does not have the finish of of anything near uh, a top player in our game today. So what does that mean? Is he a 60, 70-point guy over the course of 82 games? Doesn't appear like he's a 80 or 90 guy. Um, but he is the type of guy, I think, that uh, can still do very well in the playoffs. We saw that against the Toronto Maple Leafs last year. Did he overachieve a little bit with some of those goals that he scored? Yeah, probably, um, but we we know in the playoffs you, you can you can win games and series uh, by shutting down the other team, not necessarily filling the net, but shutting uh, the middle of the ice down. And it starts with a big, heavy center iceman, and it ends with a great goaltender. And that's why you you can never discount Winnipeg still at this point between. 
Pierre-Luc Dubois, Mark Scheifele, and Connor Hellebuck, they still have the ability to, to close off teams in the middle of the ice. That's the thing is it's a brand new season and I'm pulling for the Jets, but they got to hope yeah. that it's a brand new season, you know, but hey, to New York. Yeah, and we, we didn't yeah, even mention, Rob, we didn't even mention uh, uh, Adam Lowry as well. So Ooh. that, that, that is considered the best middle ice in the North division. And I still, you know, I'll, I'll take that. If, if I was to start a team today, I probably, uh, I mean, I don't know if I, would excluding Austin Matthews, we certainly like Winnipeg's depth up the middle. I think a little bit more than the Leafs. Yeah, and uh, hey, if Nikolai Ehlers comes back, we got a week to go. You know, things yeah, may be different, he's, right? He, uh, he's not going to be ready. Damn. Uh, and okay, then it might be a quick series. Uh, there's your breaking news, Winnipeg. Nick Ehlers How isn't going to be ready. How about that? Okay, to New York, and you know Kyle Hall from the Broadway Hot Hat Podcast because you've been on it. Uh, he wants to know if Torts finds his way back to New York in any role. You must have been asked that a few times since Monday or Sunday. Yeah, well, it's New York. So if, you know, not that I want to date myself, but if George Steinbrenner and Billy Martin <laughs> get back together again um, in, in the heyday of the New York Yankees, then there might be some room for <clears throat> John Tortorella to come back. I was told that it wasn't uh, a, a great breakup uh, the last time he left. Uh, but there is a, a mutual respect, I think, from their owner and James Dolan with Tortorella. And as we know, you know, Slats is very much involved. Glenn Sather, of course, back in, in, in New York. But there might be a sense that James Dolan wants Tortorella back. We'll just have to see how this plays out. The other name I heard was Rick Tockett as well. They might have some interest in Rick Tockett. But there's going to be, there's going to be a heavy name that I think can push these young players on the Rangers uh, to the next level. Of course, Quinn probably has a, the reputation for being a, a development guy, but now I think they need, they might need or want a heavier hand to take them to the next level. Where do you see mess fitting into all this? And by the way, Ron Duguay is now our Rangers insider appears regularly from Florida and, he thinks if, if Moose wants, you got to find in, you need to find a spot for your smiling already. <laughs> what, well, what do you think? I, it's great, but where is, is the fit, right? And where will Mark like the fit? And I just think that uh, the small window that the Rangers had for a Mark Messier type uh, might have closed a little bit, Rod. And that is at the, at the president's position that – you know, if Chris Drew is going to take over as the general manager, that was one thing. But when Chris uh, told them that he also wants the president's job, I just don't know where that leaves Mark Messier. Uh, thinking about putting him behind the bench, would he would he want a, an associate job? I would think if he was going to try his hand at coaching, it would be behind the bench. But again, that that to me is a little trickier to put him in that type of position, but to come in as an ambassador or as a advisor to somebody else or Chris Drury, I mean, he's got slats, right? So I, I just don't know where the fit is. Maybe you could tell me or, or, or Dukes uh, in Florida can tell me where, where you see a fit for Mark Messier. If you closed off uh, John Davidson's job to Chris Drury. Well, listen, as you know, Dukes is the New York guy. Like I said, he's never coached anything higher than Pee Wee. And Ron says, well, with quality assistance, you know, maybe he doesn't have to coach. But that's, you know, Dukes, right? He just thinks yeah. in, a, in a different space. And that's what makes him Dukes. Well, listen, I, I would have I had Mark from day one uh, if it was me and to, to have him as a teammate, to watch him operate on a day-to-day -day basis collaborate, uh, bring people together, inspire. I, you know where I'd stand with Mark Messier, that's for sure. I just think of you as a Rangers guy, obviously, I love seeing your ring uh, when you're on. Um, what's John? There you go. That is a gorgeous ring, man, as you well know. Um, you seen them today, Rod? You, you, need, you need to clean them in a car wash today. <laughs> You can't wear them. You can't wear no. them. You can't put your hand in your pocket. Uh, hey, what's John Davidson going to do? I mean, 
If there was ever Mr. Ranger, that's JD. How's he doing? Gosh, the only thing is I say to that is, how do you go from Broadway, man? How do you go from the New York Rangers to, to somewhere where? else, right? <laughs> so I don't know. There, there seems to be possibly, you know, multiple teams out there that might look for a, a, a different direction. I think there would be opportunities. I'm just not sure if JD would want them at this point. He's had an amazing career. Uh, not only as a player, but a broadcaster. And then, of course, as an executive uh, in Columbus and, and and New York. And I just, if he's got the energy, I'm sure he can start knocking on doors. Rod, what's going on with the Buffalo Sabres in the last 24 hours? It just, it can't, it, it just refuses to go away. Uh, there's a major cleanup that has to go on there. Where's Kevin Adams? Can he clean this Eichel situation up? It's probably had an ample time by now, and yet what we learned in the last 24 hours that uh, this is still something that needs needs to be dealt with um, because it exploded yesterday as far as I'm concerned. Where is the Pagulas on ownership? Where do they feel Kevin Adams can, can do this or where he might be a little bit over his head? Do you welcome in a president, a Jimmy Rutherford, a Dale Talon, a John Davidson to help deal with this? based on a lot of experience. So we'll have to see how it plays out. You know, by the way, I don't know where you are on Matthew Barnaby. I can't imagine you don't like him. He's my kind of guy. I think he's your kind of guy. He explained to me how the Pagulas could get it right with the Bills, but they can't get it right with the Sabres. He said that the NFL helped the Pagulas in all their hiring and everything, but in the NHL, just, just you're on your own, and you end up with Kevin Adams. That was Barney's take on the whole thing. But Ryan yeah. in, yeah, go ahead. Do you have a thought on that? Oh, I was just going to say, there, there is a, a clear understanding from the National Hockey League on on, on how, uh, how involved uh, you can get. So you certainly, as, as Matthew alluded to, uh, to you, uh, that's a different case when it comes to hockey, that uh, they're, they're very much hands-on. So from Ryan in Saratoga, New York, he wants to know if you think Eichel ends up with the Rangers. Yes, I, I do. Uh, and that's just based on the interest that we've heard for the past, what, uh, six months, eight months? Like it's, we, we did a show, uh, a long, it seems like an eternity ago. And I just, I said, this, this story will not go away. And that's clearer than ever in the last 24 hours. But they've, they've showed interest right from the get-go but if you really look at the way the Rangers have operated, especially, you know, the last five or 10 years, Rod, in, in this salary cap era where they don't get to flex their muscle, uh, they, they really strive on people that want to be there that, that aren't in it just for the bottom line. And, you know, whether it's Panarin who turned down less money or we'll see what happens, uh, you know, in the next little while with Zabanajad's contract, but you want to be in New York, you're, you're not going to be necessarily the highest paid. Uh, we know Eichel's in a situation where his contract's locked up, got a lot of years left at $10 million a year, but more importantly, if that's where he wants to play and and uh, and the Rangers want him, it's, it is a natural fit, but I, I don't think the Sabre fans will be happy with the, the return on on the deal. Very seldom when you got a disgruntled player can you get true value coming back. And I like Eichel. I, we know when it comes to talent, he should be in the same breath as an Austin Matthews, a Connor McDavid, uh, Leon Dreisaitl, uh, yeah, I, Panarin, I think... all those big guys. But he, he he's proven jack squat up until this point that he can be uh, a differential on the ice. And, and that's what he needs to do now is just – find a new team, get back to work and work on uh, work on your image, man. Your, your reputation is uh, as being a top player. I think we got 90 seconds left and you know that in TV terms, but I just wonder your thoughts on players wanting out. Now he's the captain of the Sabres. I look at all the NFL guys that want out. Look at Aaron Rodgers for God's sakes. I know you watch across sports in your era. Guys just bit their tongue, right? How do you feel about well, guys just saying I want out? Yeah, a few here and there. 
a few here and there. We always had uh, disgruntled situations when it was just time to move on. And, you know, we saw it with Mark in, in Edmonton before he was traded to New York. I was part of a, a, a blockbuster trade for with Hartford and Chicago where Steve Larmer, no question, I think one of the greatest, most dependable players in our history. Uh, I gave up an iron streak because he just had enough of the Chicago Blackhawks. So there's always situations where I think we can look in the past and say nothing's really changed in terms of, you know, if certain players have certain certain amount of leverage that others don't. Like, you know, 95% of the league, Rod, can't pull off a Jack Eichel you know, but when you're that good and you know it, you push the envelope. Yeah, good point. Good. Well, we'll see how it unfolds. Hey, the fun times ahead, Kipper. Stanley Cup playoffs and where do guys land? Uh, just one more. Sh- yeah, there you go. One shout out for uh, for the real Kipper at noon, if you don't mind, where folks can watch it. Yeah, we're on the YouTube channel. We go uh, live streaming Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays on YouTube. Real Kipper at noon. It's through uh, linemovement.com. And just one more shout out for my little Buddha. We've got it in Saskatchewan. We've got nice. it in Alberta, BC. Um, it's our it's our ve- uh, beverage cocktail. All organic, no sugar, gluten free. You'll love it. Good for you. Make sure you make sure you look young. All right, Kipper. Thanks for this, man. We'll uh, chat soon. I appreciate the time. Anytime, Rod. Thank you. Stanley Cup champion and undrafted NHLer, Nick Kiprios, the title of his best-selling book. Moose joins me next. We got a sports update coming up. You're watching the RP Show on Game Plus Television in all 10 provinces and 31 states. Also live daily on YouTube and Facebook and 24-hour sports radio at RodPeterson.com. Head to YouTube.com slash The Rod Peterson Show now. You gotta subscribe. Click the subscribe button for all the content you may have missed. Capital Ford Lincoln is your used car destination. We're overstocked and priced to move, so shop online or in-store to get the best deal on any one of our massive selection of pre-owned vehicles. Every pre-owned vehicle at Capital Ford must pass a thorough inspection, ensuring that your buying experience is quick, easy, worry-free, and just like new. So save the depreciation and buy pre-owned. Capital Ford Lincoln is your used car destination. 1201 Pasqua Street North in Regina. Introducing Original 16 Hard Seltzer. The refreshing taste of delicious peach with vodka made in Saskatchewan. New Hard Seltzers from Original 16. Nestled in the scenic Quapel Valley, just 20 minutes northwest of Regina, is one of the finest golf courses in all of Saskatchewan, the Deer Valley Golf Club. The clubhouse has a full-service restaurant, and customers can enjoy a casual dining experience with spectacular views of the golf course and valley. A fully stocked golf shop staffed by PGA of Canada professionals is equipped to meet all of your golf apparel and equipment needs. Book your tee time, family event, or corporate tournament today at the Deer Valley Golf Club. Call 306-731-1445. Don't rack your brain trying to source the equipment and materials you need for your business. Rockstar can operate your entire supply chain, from PO creation to expediting your shipments, all from our office. Leverage the buying power of the Rockstar Buying Group to not only save money and time, but also the headache. From gloves to glue, we can provide it for you. Find out more at rockstar.com. Direct West has been the bridge for me from not dealing with social media or digital presence to having a presence. You have to take the leap of faith, so to say. And I'm glad we have. Direct West has helped us out immensely to get our presence online as far as digitally and also with the social media page. To see the results is just, uh, just puts a smile on your face. <laughs> we started Suds Car Wash in 2003. There's a bit of us in every part of the business. I've been working here since I was about 10 years old. Hard to believe it's been 12 years since. Working with my family has been great. My mom and dad have taught us the importance of hard work. I've been here since I was 10 years old and my dad has taught me a lot about quality work. 
From all of us at Suds Car Wash, we make your car shine. Business owners and marketers. Okay, we know you think we're pretty cool. That's why we want you to share in the coolness factor. Partner with The Rod Peterson Show and market your business every weekday to sports lovers just like yourself. Take advantage of our many cost-effective commercial and promotional opportunities. Tell the world about your business. Yes, the world. Thanks to Game Plus TV and the Rod Peterson Digital Network. Contact us today and find out how you can be a part of Canada's fastest-growing sports talk show, The Rod Peterson Show laid back and kicking it let's head back to the studio here's rob and uh and the gang how are you we're gonna jump into a sports update because there's all kinds of things going on today what a sports day Mm -hmm. why it's so awesome uh talking sports during the daytime the toronto rock are returning to their original home the national lacrosse league team announced tuesday morning It's reached a five-year agreement to relocate out of Scotiabank Arena in downtown Toronto to Hamilton's first union centre starting next season. The franchise played its first season at what was then known as Cops Coliseum after joining the NLL in 1998 as the Ontario Raiders. Did you know that? I did not. And uh, they were moved to Toronto the following season, rebranded the Toronto Rock after being purchased by a group led by then Maple Leafs assistant general manager Bill Waters. It seems like yesterday it was the 90s. Wow. The Rock became a hot ticket in Toronto with a peak average attendance of 17,123 at the Air Canada Centre in 2005. How about that? From the Canadian Football League at their virtual annual general meeting this morning, the Edmonton football team announced a $7.1 million loss for 2020. Right in line with what the Winnipeg Blue Bombers announced. Yeah. The Raptors will be rolling out the bench tonight when they face Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers in Tampa. Guards Kyle Lowry and Fred Van Vliet, as well as forward Spicy P and OG Ananobi, have all been ruled out according to last night's NBA injury report. Raptors uh, officially knocked out of playoff contention last night. The Guelph Nighthawks of the CEBL, the Canadian Elite Basketball League, have signed Mamadou Gouai. You would know that name? Remember him? He joins the Nighthawks with former experience in the CEBL and following his most recent overseas play in the Japanese B3 League. Guai attended the University of Alberta, where he showed athleticism and consistency in five seasons of play. And then uh, he attained a career-high 35 points against the U of R in 2015, averaged 15 points per game, and was awarded team MVP for three consecutive years. This is the wonderful thing about these leagues that are providing pro opportunities for guys and gals past their collegiate career, right? Their post-secondary career. And he played for Team Canada. He represented Canada at the 2018 Commonwealth Games. Meanwhile, all 16 playoff spots in the NHL are now secured. Now it's just a matter of who finishes where. The Montreal Canadiens earned the final postseason berth last night with a 4-3 overtime loss at home to the Oilers. Meanwhile, breaking news today, the Vegas Golden Knights announced that chairman and CEO Bill Foley, in partnership with Dollar Loan Center founder and CEO Chuck Brennan, have officially purchased an expansion franchise from the Indoor Football League. The expansion franchise will be based in the Las Vegas Valley and becomes the 18th team expected to play in the 2022 season, which will be the 14th season for the Indoor Football League. Fans can place a deposit now for season ticket packages for only $50 at VegasIndoorFootball.com. I wonder why the Golden Knights were sending me that email. Oh, wait. Seventh highest city for viewership of the Rod Peterson Show is Sin City. It's not a surprise. You're either going forward or you're going backwards. That's right. It's like, hey, Bill Foley, you just got an NHL team. You just got an AHL team. Why don't you take a breath, Bill? No, thank you. And you wonder how this guy's successful. Not. 
And lefty Robbie Ray is scheduled to start today for the Blue Jays as they open a three-game set in Atlanta against the Braves. Ray has pitched at least five innings in all five of his starts this season. It's the third city on Toronto's 10-game road trip after playing Oakland and Houston. The Jays dropped two of three against the Astros after splitting a four-game set with the Athletics. This sports update for dubnetwork.ca, your number one source for Western Hockey League breaking news and analysis with the best team of writers across Western Canada and the Pacific Northwest. Visit today, dubnetwork.ca. And for Ben Cahoon's G2G Protein Bars, smells like lunch to me. Yeah, so good. I got them right under my desk. RP Show viewers get 20% off with the promo code RP Show. Order yours now at g2gbars.ca. What's uh, popping with you, Moose? Oh, man. I'm just. Got to catch you off guard. No, You're just enjoying. I'm just enjoying the day. Listen. Okay. Sponsor yes. Love, why don't you tell the folks what you got there? Earth Echo Foods sent this wonderful package over yesterday. They're in the States, too, aren't they? Yeah. If you've been listening to the podcast, which I know a lot of you do, um, the Rod Peterson Show, wherever you get your podcasts, you'll have heard of Earth Echo Foods. And they sent this package over, which I wasn't expecting. Beautiful box. And I'm going to open this up here. I don't know if you can see this, but great, great box. It's called, they have superfoods, and this one's called Coco Bliss. Now, I've taken kind of, now I'll see if I can, there we go. Good job, guys. Um, it's, it's a cocoa powder um, superfood um, elixir. This is what they say on the package. And it's, it's full of turmeric and other superfoods. And it's a morning coffee type drink. There's no coffee in it. So I just made one. I'd never tried it. It's actually really good. You said good. it's delicious. It's delicious. It, it comes with a little frother and the, the powder and a little jar and the whole deal and this cup. Um, and anyways, it's kind of like, you know, almost like a latte. You blend it up. You add a little, uh, you know, a little milk, a little hot water. I dropped a shot of espresso in here. Oh, changed your life. Souped it up. and Game uh, changer. Game changer. Might be the new morning drink. I don't know. Very okay. good. Uh, so, Cow Cow Bliss. Yes. That's, they're a sponsor of our podcast only so thank you and and they're out of america when we come back full-on viewer takeover uh nick kiprios dropped some news there's some jack eichel talk plus shane wright and connor bedard so hang on you see what they want to talk about mm -hmm. we'll be right back on viewer takeover it's the rp show on game plus tv network youtube and facebook live and 24-hour sports radio for suds full service car wash at rodpeterson.com have you subscribed to the Rod Peterson Show YouTube channel yet? Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now. Direct West provides us with stats and analytics, and, and it's amazing for us to look and see that you know each year we're 10 to 20 percent higher on our Google Leads. It's great to see the success that our, our locations are having. The Direct West app gives us an opportunity to be in one place for people to find uh, any of our locations or our commodities. Without Direct West, we would have to be in multiple digital places. I would recommend Direct West. They're great to work with. Some of the challenges we face with the CT technology that we have today is some of the deficiencies in around integration with some of our other systems. The addition of, of two new 40 simulators uh, within the programming of the Saskatchewan Cancer Agency is, is going to have significant impact on, on you know, the care we provide to the people of Saskatchewan. At Prairie Mobile, you can get the phone you want when you want. All smartphones are $0 every day. With convenient locations across Saskatchewan, Prairie Mobile, your Sastel authorized dealer, has you covered. Visit us online at prairiemobile.com. 
People donate blood for moments like this. But there are lots of reasons why Canada's lifeline needs donors every day. Like the fact that someone with leukemia can eat up to eight units of blood a week. Or that donated blood lasts no longer than 42 days. Or to help new moms and babies, like Henry. There's lots of reasons to donate blood. That's why we need donors every day. The need for blood is constant. Join Toyota and our Toyota dealers in supporting Canada's lifeline. Capital Ford Lincoln is Truck Nation. Looking to buy your next truck or sell your current one? Capital is Canada's truck destination. Shop online or in-store to see the new 2021 Ford F-150, Ranger, Escape, and more. Right now is the best time to lease or finance a new vehicle. Can't find exactly what you're looking for? Let us help by sourcing your vehicle from our dealer network or custom ordering one that is perfect for you. Capital Ford Lincoln is Truck Nation. 1201 Pasqua Street North in Regina. Hey, Rod Squad, now you can join the team with your very own RP Show gear. Head to rodpetersonshop.com and get yours today while supplies last. It's just like we wear on the show, official RP Show gear at rodpetersonshop.com. You got something to say? You want to add to the show? What are you waiting for? Don't just sit there. Say something. Now, back to the studio with Rod. All right, everybody. You got time. You got seven minutes until the end of the show. Wherever you are watching from, there you go. Write us on the Prairie Mobile text line, 306-840-8777. Specifically, if you're watching on Game Plus television across all 10 provinces and 31 states, any questions? But we'll get to the comments on the wall because there's some good ones here. They want to talk hockey today. And it's always a good day to talk hockey. And folks, the Stanley Cup playoffs are approaching soon too. And Rod Peterson show sponsor universityofpucks.com wants to make the run for the cup a lot more fun for you. Go to universityofpucks.com right now and sign up for their free NHL playoff pool. Top prize is an autographed Connor Bedard Pats jersey. You are not going to get a better price than that. Universityofpucks.com. It's a free Stanley Cup playoff pool. And you can win a Bedard jersey. What else is there? What else do you need to know? I know, right? And while you're there, look around and sign up for daily fantasy betting wagering advice on the National Hockey League and win on DraftKings and FanDuel from Universityofpucks.com. And I thank the people that have because we've had very favorable response from Pucks U too, right? Mm -hmm. So it's good. Thank you. Uh, to the viewers, Kevin Olenek is watching on Facebook, and he says, question, if Jack Eichel wants out due to medical handling, could you see a Shane Wright or a Connor Bedard potentially saying thanks but no thanks to the Sabres if they are drafted there? It's been a long time since that's happened. Has anybody held out since Lindros? And before that, Mario Lemieux. It's rare. Very Eichel rare. could have done it. The Sabres have been a grease fire for 30 years. Well, no, they're in the Stanley Cup final in 99. 20 years. They've been the worst team in the NHL. I don't, hockey's different than those other sports. It and is. as I've gotten to know Connor Bedard, because I don't know Shane Wright at all, I'd be shocked if he refused to go to whoever selected him number one overall. It's a good question, though. It's a great question, and it's more about the business now than it's ever been. Too. Yes. And so your agents, your PR team, your family, advisors, you know, they kind of get in your head a little bit, but they also make you understand that, look, it, you're going to do really well in hockey, but if you're the number one pick and you're a star in the NHL, you'll make more speaking you know, um, endorsement deals, yeah. et cetera, than you maybe will on the ice. You know, so don't damage your brand by bringing all this negative energy to it by being somebody who's going to hold up. Yes. Because that's going to damage your brand. You know, somebody who's, you know, selfish or picky. And, and I know you're trying to do what's best for your career, but even if you're on a bad team, if you're a good person with a good brand, you can still sell that. And so you have to be careful. And I know you only live once. You only get one crack at the NHL. And Jack Eichel wants to be part of a winner. Yeah. But you have to take care of your brand. And tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, Stephen Numadal is watching in Prince Albert. He says Yashin held out. He held out, but he still signed. Mm -hmm. 
right? So the question is, like, we're talking flat-out refusal to play is what the question is. Yashin eventually played with that team. Lindros never did. There's a difference. Yeah. Um, all right, Nelson Hackowitz says it's terrible that Eichel can't get the medical help he needs to possibly prolong his career and better his life further down the road because the Sabres would sooner treat him as an asset instead of a human. Oh, boy, Nelson, are you speaking my language? He just said it's now more about business than ever. I laugh and laugh and laugh daily at Jeff Hamilton from the Winnipeg Free Press who ripped me on Twitter after my Grey Cup fan base uh, rant Right when he said, everybody knows you're all about yourself, Rod. Now you just admitted it. That's right, bro. You just haven't gone through enough pain in your life yet. Just wait. Wait till you get a bullet in the head and tossed out in the trash and you start. Let's see how you look at life and who's in it for whom. He just hasn't gone through the pain yet. This is the team. Team RP. Jack Eichel's on Team JE. Not Team Buffalo Sabres. Okay? And anybody that doesn't understand that hasn't gone through it. It's cute. I don't know where Connor Bedard is on. He's not even thinking about that. Like a text has just come in here from the 537. How many years does Bedard spend with the Pats? Two. Very easy answer right there. He's got two more years. And please, baby hockey Jesus, let there be hockey next fall because there's starting to be some conjecture. This was going around this morning. See how people want to talk about hockey? Because they're playing. Somebody sent me this rod. The owner of the Kelowna Rockets said that there's not going to be any interdivisional play next year. We might not get to see Connor Bedard in BC live. That's what's going around. That's what they're talking about. I know. I'd just be happy if he plays. And then you can watch on television. But they want to see him live, and I, I get it. I know they do because, you know, they hear about him in Regina. Maybe they weren't watching the games. And then they see him on TSN at the, at the World Under-18 Hockey Championships. And the things he was doing there were the same things he was doing here. And now they just they want to pay money to watch him live. I hope they get the opportunity. This is what they're talking about. Yeah. And that's why this we are <laughs> nowhere near sorting this out. And thank God to these leagues that have been able to play and get things done because uh, it would be <laughs> pretty long days without it. Uh, by the way, tonight, what do we got? Tri-City of Portland. Sports on tap for the Tab Brew House. Tri-City of Portland in the dub. Victoria at Vancouver. In the Q playoffs, Valdora Ramuski tonight. Charlottetown at Acadie Bathurst. Victoriaville at Blaineville Boisbrand. Only two in the show tonight. Jets home to Vancouver. Boston at Washington. And in the majors, the Blue Jays are at Atlanta. Tomorrow, another hockey show. Maybe a little CFL. Arash Madani will be with us. Craig Button. Great job today, Moose. You too. Thank you, everybody. Thanks to Nick Kiprios and Colin Priestner. We'll see you tomorrow at noon Eastern right here on Game Plus TV.